What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Alex here and today I'm going to show you some galaxy tips and tricks that most people don't even know about and if you find something in this video that you didn't know you got to do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you know everything in this video well I guess you are a pro but check this out if I unlock my phone with my right thumb it will just unlock my phone but if I unlock my phone with my left thumb it will take me to a new page on my Google Chrome. Also, if I do the same thing with my uh, index finger on my right, what's going to happen is it will unlock my phone and go directly to Netflix. To set this up, what you're going to want to do is install the GoodLock application. So go to your Galaxy Store, install this, and then in here, you're going to install the Routines Plus module. It's under the Life Up section. Go ahead and install it. And then once you got it installed, go in here and you'll see something called fingerprint to website. So you can tap onto here and then up here, you can select a fingerprint profile. So you have to set these up in your phone settings. So if you go to your phone settings, go to security and privacy, then here you'll have your biometric settings, go into biometrics, and then you have your fingerprints in here. So add your fingerprint profiles in here. You can have up to four fingerprint profiles, but once you have them added and you go back here, you can select any of those fingerprint profiles. So this is my main thumb. I don't have this program to anything. This is my other thumb and then this is my index finger and then this is my other index finger so I've programmed these two to take certain actions so just go ahead and select a fingerprint profile I'll just choose the fourth one because I haven't programmed it yet and then what you can do is go to a specific website so you can type a URL in here like YouTube Reddit or whatever you want and it will take you directly to this website but if you don't want to launch a website you can just cancel out of here tap on the edit button down here remove this go to website section and then tap into here and you can go through here and select whatever you want it to do. So for example, if you want to open a specific app, what you can do is tap into here, then select open an app or do an app action. And it will take you to all of your apps and all of the app actions that you can take. So if you want to open up Netflix, just search for Netflix in here. If you want to open up your YouTube application, Reddit, whatever you want, your Gmail, Instagram, any application on your phone, you can search it in here and open it up. So when you unlock your phone, it will take this action. And of course, if you want to do something else, there's a whole list of in here of all the things that you can do. You can even control your smart home devices. So you can go to control smart things. If you tap into here, you can see that you can control your TV, your speakers, your uh, smart lights, air conditioning, your robot vacuum. So you can literally start a robot vacuum by just a fingerprint profile by unlocking your phone. It is such a powerful and amazing feature. Definitely go ahead and set this up for yourself. All right, guys. Now the next thing we're going to do is enhance our Samsung key keyboard's precision. So if you're ever typing in an email or a text message and you're like quickly typing, you probably make a lot of errors, but Samsung has some kind of weird voodoo feature in here that will enhance the precision and somehow make the keyboard do a better job of identifying what it is you're trying to type. So if you go into this settings wheel right here and then tap on more typing options, you'll see a new option in here called enhance accuracy. Now, I don't know how this works. I have no idea, but when you enable this, it's like magic. It just makes your keyboard so much more accurate for some reason. So if you're making a lot of mistakes and you're having to constantly uh, backspace and correct what you're typing, give this feature a try, enhance accuracy, and tell me in the comments below if you notice a difference. Now, if you've ever used incognito mode, and this has definitely happened to me, but you might have just been using incognito, doing whatever it is that you do incognito, you don't need to tell me, but when you exit, you probably just swipe up and forget to actually close your incognito tab. And the problem with that is, if somebody comes by and sees your phone laying there, they can tap into your Chrome browser and your incognito mode will pop up and they will be able to see everything you've done on incognito mode, but you can actually lock it. There's a feature on your Galaxy phone that will allow you to password protect your incognito mode so that nobody will be able to see what you're doing in case you forgot to exit out of here. And to enable it, what you want to do is go to your URL address right there and just type in here Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags hit go and then in the search box up here look for re-authenticate so type re-authenticate and you'll see this option that says enable device re-authentication for incognito you'll have it uh, set to default but make sure you hit this drop down and set it to enabled now what you're going to do is hit on these three dots up here and then you're going to go to settings go down here to privacy and security and you'll see a new option in here that says lock incognito tabs when you leave chrome so enable this and it will ask you to authenticate yourself so use your pin or your fingerprint and that's it you're all set up now anytime you're using chrome if we just go back into chrome we'll open up a new incognito tab you can be doing whatever it is that you're doing on here let's say we'll just type whatever we'll go so we're on some website we're browsing incognito mode and then 
when we exit out of here and we leave, if we forgot to close that tab, anytime somebody comes by and taps on our Chrome browser, you can see that it says unlock incognito mode. So our incognito mode has been locked and nobody will be able to see what we were doing. If we want to unlock it, we're of course going to need our pin or fingerprint to resume doing what we were doing. All right guys, now for this next feature, it's absolutely amazing. And I struggled with this for years and years until I realized there's a solution for it. Now, if you use cheap Bluetooth headphones like 30, 40, $50 headphones and you're a mobile gamer or you're watching YouTube videos or a Netflix show, you probably have noticed that there's a small sound delay between the picture on your phone and the audio coming into your Bluetooth headphones. And there's actually a solution for it in the form of a good lock module. So if you go to your good lock, look for a module called sound assistant. Again, if you don't have it, just go ahead and install it, open up sound assistant assistant. And then in here, you'll see Bluetooth metronome tap onto this now you're gonna have to have a bluetooth device connected and active but what's gonna happen is you'll see this arrow moving here and numbers popping up and every time a number pops up there will be a voice that will say the number and anytime you hear a delay you can just move this slider around until you get the sound on your bluetooth to sync up with the picture on the phone it is absolutely amazing you can have cheap headphones and no longer have to deal with sound delay when i figured this out it was probably the best day of my life because i hated that sound delay anytime I would game or watch YouTube videos, even a slight sound delay would kind of just ruin the experience. So this feature is definitely amazing. If you didn't know about this, definitely check it out. All right, guys, let's move on to the next feature. Now, this one also drove me crazy because if you're reading a long article on your phone or you're looking at a picture and you don't interact with your screen, you'll probably notice that your screen dims and then auto locks because your phone times out and locks down to preserve battery life. You don't want your phone just laying there and not locking. But if you're reading something or you're looking at a picture, it can get annoying to keep having to tap on your phone to keep it from falling asleep. Well, there's actually a solution for that and it's super simple. Just go to your phone settings, scroll down to advanced features and in here, go to motions and gestures and you'll see a toggle here that says keep screen on while viewing. Again, by default, this is disabled. But if you enable it, you can see what it says is keep the screen on while you're looking at it. So the phone will use your front facing camera to see that you are looking, you're actively looking at the screen and it won't dim the screen and auto lock. So you don't have to keep tapping on it. You can just read your article. You can look at your picture and your phone will stay awake. Such a small little feature, but definitely makes a huge improvement in the quality of life of using your phone. So definitely give this one a try. All right, guys, now let's move on to the final tip. And you guys are absolutely going to love this. If you've ever browsed the web, which I'm sure you do every day, one thing you probably run into a lot is ads. Ads everywhere you go, just interrupting your experience. You can see I went to this page right here. I got an ad served up here. I got a whole video getting played down here with audio. There's And if I just scroll through the page, you can see that there's just ads everywhere. So if I just scroll down a little bit more, you can see there's a sponsored ad segment right there. So there's an ad here. There's a video playing down here with audio and there's ads just pretty much everywhere you go. Now, there's a secret tip, a secret setting that you can enable on your Galaxy and really any Android phone that's completely free. It doesn't require any third party apps. And what it will do is block all of these ads. It's absolutely amazing. So to enable it, what you need to do is go into your phone settings tap on connections, then go to uh, more connection settings. And then you'll see an option here for private D DNS. This will be set to automatic, but you, what you want to do is select private DNS provider host name and in here type dns.adguard.com. Once you got it in there, hit save. And now this is going to automatically block ads on your phone. So you can see if I refresh this page, Look at that, there's no ads on here. The banner that was up here is now gone. There's no video being played right here. And if I'm scrolling through here, you can see that the big chunky ad that we had in the middle is now whited out, it's blanked out, there's nothing there. So it just makes using your phone so, so much more pleasurable. You don't have to get served or slapped in the face with ads everywhere you go. And this makes using your phone and browsing the web so much better. And especially it's free. You don't need to download any other applications. Definitely an awesome feature you guys should check out. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope there's something in this video that you didn't know about. And if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for future videos to come and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.